Oh, welcome to Shishingo. Well, let's play Shishingo, uh, where we take two quizzes and try to learn, or at least that's what we normally do. Uh, I wanted to just kind of hop in here at the beginning and just kind of show a little bit of what's going on in the actual game, because I only show you like a tiny, tiny fraction of it, right? Uh, so we have all these pictures that I've taken. Uh, some of them I've dolled up and made pretty pretty. Uh, some it's literally the, just the first picture that I took, right? Uh, so like here we have road sign. Doro hyoshiki. Doro hyoshiki. Uh, Konsoku doro is a uh, highway. So uh, doro kind of got me uh, pretty quick on the right spot with this one. But you uh, you can flip it. I'm playing with a controller because uh, keyboard and mouse hurts my hands. Uh, so I don't do that. So anything that's like, oh, you should be playing keyboard and mouse. I'm like, you just told me I should not be playing. I got it. Okay. Uh, when you flip them, they have words on the back side, which is what we're doing in the secondary quiz that we do when we do quiz mode. But they also tell you what type of adjective it is and what type of verb it is. And if you're like, well, I don't know what any of that means, don't worry. Down here, they walk you through what that type of stuff is. So if we go over here, uh, so here they have kosoado, uh, which is like kore, are, suare, those, those types of words. If you're not familiar with those, hey, it's right here for you. Here they go over what the difference between I adjectives, adjectives that end in I, and not adjectives, which also can end in, uh, it's definitely not confusing at all for beginners. Uh, it's, it's super simple and straightforward. Uh, here they're uh, walking through a little bit more of the kosoado uh, with uh, koko, soko, adoko, uh, aso, sorry, asoko, doko, uh, you know, things like that. There's also, look, polite verb conjugation. Here we have some verbs. So they kind of walk you through all that stuff inside of there. I wanted to show that because all I'm showing you in this game is find mode and quiz mode. Because uh, I've already played the, the game, so this is just for fun at this point to, to continue uh, making sure that I remember stuff. And I wanted, uh, just wanted to make sure that I showed you that. Uh, let's do focused because I believe we did. Uh, I believe we did uh, my favorites list last time. So here we have. Kaimono. Kaimono. Kaimono, uh, kaimono is kind of like stuff. So. Kaimono. Uh, but. That is a shopping basket. Uh, kaimono kago. Uh, for me, I always just think of it as like, uh, it's actually over this way. Uh, kaimono is like stuff you buy, right? Because it's kind of like playing off of kaimas, which is to buy kao. Um, so, but kago sounds kind of close to cargo. And it's like, yeah, this basket right here, that's what I put my cargo in. It's all wheel drive. All right, so we have kagami. Which is mirror. Passporto. Mirror. All right, passporto. Passporto. Uh, passport. A very important word to remember in case the Keisetsu asks you for your passporto. Uh, it, I have never had that happen. I've literally never talked to a cop, but uh, oh, yeah. it can happen. You know, it's like, hey, are you actually, because there are 100% people living in Japan who are not technically allowed to be there. Either their visa ran up or whatnot. Yeah. All right, Honya is bookstore. So here we have paper bound, the bookstore. Which, uh, actually, let's walk over there. We got some katakana below it. I want to see if it... I'm assuming it just says paper bound, but... Uh, yep. Pe pa ba un do. Paper bound. Yeah, paper bound. That's fun. I love the katakana accent. It's it's so much fun to me. Tore. 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 Uh, the first time I saw, I heard this, I should say, because uh, I, I liked to keep the words uh, not visible at first because I like to hear them. Of course, uh, uh, I, I swear, for Boshi here, I don't hear a 
at all in the lady's voice. So it kept tripping me up. Uh, but Trey is a Trey. 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 Uh, by the way, not not a bad price. I will gladly spend the equivalent of uh, like a dollar twenty-five USD on some melon pawn. Not not gonna lie, I'm down for that. Suitcase. 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 Yeah, your suitcase. Uh, suitcase. Let's go take a picture of our suitcase. Okay. Tegami. Tegami. Okay, Tegami is a letter. So let's go ahead and take a picture of the Tegami down here. Ramp. Ramp. Ramp is a lamp. Gita. There is no inherent uh, L sound in Japanese. So typically they use a, a rushed R sound for that. So instead of a uh, lamp, it's ramp, ramp, uh, which uh, I guess if you're talking about a ramp that's lit up by lamps, that could get a little bit confusing. Uh, but here we have a gita. Genkan matto. Genkan matto. Uh, so genkan is uh, kind of like a foyer, uh, a foyer, if you will. Uh, depending on uh, how bougie you are, but uh, Gangkan Matto, sorry, um, uh, is uh, the mat at an entryway. Uh, uh, Gangkan, you're the entryway. So there you go. Not bad, not bad. Good job on quiz mode, I say to myself. And then we hop over uh, fine mode. Uh, uh, now we have cafe. So uh, we have the avocado cafe, and we have Three words here. Ow. Ow. Benkyo suru. Benkyo suru? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Kutsurogu. Kutsurogu. Okay, let's see what words we have at our disposal. To study, to relax, to meet. Alright, so let's go like that. Now, I did that because I already knew two of these words. Uh, ow and benkyo suru. Uh, so, but uh, to relax is new for me. So, let's listen to these. Ow. Ow. Oyos. And then we have benkyo suru. Benkyo shimasu. Benkyo suru. And then. Kutsurogu. 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 To relax. Kutsurogimasu would be how to conjugate that politely. Uh, you say, why do you keep saying politely? Well, because there's different politeness levels for Japanese. Uh, in fact, there is, there's a politeness level reserved for talking to, like, the highest authority in the land. Like, uh, there's uh, multiple ways of saying I, you. Uh, like, kimi uh, is a way of saying you that I've never heard before until a song... Uh, called Lemonade by Chili Beans, which is a Japanese kind of like pop rock group. Oh, they're great. Uh, they did a One Piece ending, and it's literally the best song in One Piece, which is obvious because it doesn't shout One Piece multiple times throughout it. Anyways, uh, we have a lantern here. Got the little, uh, little fire kanji there. That's a pretty common one that folks know. Uh, man. That one on the right is very busy in computer font. Uh, but this is Toro. Toro, which is lantern. So let's listen to the words that we got here. Akarui. Akarui. Okay. Akarui. Rekishiteki. Rekishiteki, which I still love to hear. It's it's awesome. Takai. Takai. Okay. So I'm not... I guess these could be tall, but sure. Uh, Takai we've heard a few times now. Uh, if you don't remember, it means expensive and tall. And akarui is bright. And then rekishiteki, uh, which I will remember to add to the deck, uh, the Anki deck after this, because rekishiteki is so much fun to say. Rekishiteki, rekishiteki, rekishiteki. I could do that for hours, and I probably will after this. Uh, so let's put that to historical. Uh, sorry. Rekishiteki. Uh, all right, 
Suitscase は歴史的じゃないだよ。Suitscases are not historical. Alright, so we have two familiar verbs here and a very familiar adjective, which this adjective actually uh, uh, can be used kind of as a, as a counter in, a, in, a, in one sense, and I'll, I'll explain later. Uh, but uh, here we have ireru, ireru, dasu, and ippai. Uh, so ireru is to put in, dasu is to pull out, and ippai is full. Uh, ippai oppai would be full. Anyways, uh, ippai, I'd regularly hear drunk folks saying ippai. Uh, and it, moi ippai means one more. They were just so drunk that they were saying, Ippai, you know? So, uh, Keebers, as, as usual, is the one who was like, wait, this might be why. And I'm like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. That, that must be it. So, to put it in, to pull it out, and leave it full. Wonderful. So, Ireru. Ireru. Dasu. Dasu. And then, Ippai. Bye. Awesome. Here we have Shitsukaiki, uh, the outdoor air conditioning unit. Uh, Shitsukaiki, we have uh, a few words here. Let's, uh, let's listen to these. Mawaru. Mawaru. Oki. Oki. Omoi. Omoi. All right, and let's see what words we have to choose from. Big, large, to spin, and heavy. Now, <laughs> on this one, uh, we have ru, and then to the end in ai. So, because of that, we know that this is the verb to spin. Mawaru. 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 Okay, mawaru. Uh, and then we have oki, which uh, that kanji all the way on the left just means large or big. And this word means big slash large, which by process of elimination, if you did not know it, means heavy. Still good, still good. Uh, mawaru. So let's uh, let's listen to these one more time. Mawaru. Mawaru. Oki. Oki. Omoi. Omoi. Ah, hikoki. Hikoki. I wonder what verbs and words we'll get with hikoki. All right. Well, let's. Ooh. Uh, no, no, they look different. We have the kanji that I associate with iku uh, in here twice. So this probably means something to do with like leaving or going. Uh, then we have, oh, let's listen to the words first. Ryokouniku. Okay. Tobu. 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 Toi. Toi. Oh, you're my little toy. Toi. All right, let's listen to this one again. Ni iku. All right, and this is to travel vacation. Ah, so we have two verbs here that both kind of mean like to do a thing, but I'm, I'm going to place them like this. Uh, Obviously, toy is far. Uh, let's let's try it. All right. Uh, yeah, because to travel is kind of like iku, like to go to travel. So yeah, uh, I, I it was an educated guess, but it was still a guess. I, I did not know these words ahead of time. Let's listen to them one more time here. Okay. Tobu. 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 Toi. Toi. One, one thing that's uh, funny to me is uh, if uh, Japanese comedians are trying to do a, uh, a gaijin accent, uh, typically the way that they do it is by ignoring pitch. By the way, Japanese is a pitch language. There's pitch in there, and you should be learning it, but... <sighs> Listen, it's already hard enough memorizing some of these words, right? 
But once you get it down, eventually you'll come to that point where you start like noticing that. I'm sure. I can't say I am at that point. Obviously, if you've watched the other 21 <laughs> videos of this series, you know that I'm not fluent in this language at all. And I'm just learning just like you. Either way, hey, we did it. Uh, we got everything right in quiz mode and everything right in find mode. I feel pretty good about that. Granted, quiz mode, a lot of that was uh, process of elimination, but still, you know, we, we, we got through it uh, and perfected it. Anyways, that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you come back tomorrow for the next video. Uh, and right after recording this, I'm going to record a video where I go through the Anki deck that I am making using words from this game and words that folks put into my Discord uh, so that we can all kind of study together. The Anki deck is available. It's in the description of this video. Uh, I push the updates at the end of the week so that uh, you will be mostly up to date with where I'm at in this video. Uh, so till next time, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again real soon.